Hello and welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero in Fusion 360. Today we're going to be creating a bottle which looks something like this. And so without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start by creating a cylinder at this position with a circle with a diameter of 8 centimeters and a height of 20 centimeters. Hit, hit enter. Then I'm going to create a grip for this. For that, I'm going to create a sketch and draw a circle at a certain height, maybe about this height or maybe at this height and of diameter two centimeters. All right. And then hit finish sketch and then choose that and revolve along the blue axis, which you can only select in the bottom view. It's not visible in the top view. And then that's 360 degrees. So yeah, hit OK. That's going to cut off that material and then create a thread on this surface, which is basically going to be for our bottle to uh, come in. I mean, for the cap to come and attach upon. And with, for that, what we're going to do is we don't want it to be of this entire length. That looks quite weird, honestly. So size, you can, sorry, not that. Ch turn off the full length option here. And if this is one centimeter, maybe you can just increase this to two centimeters. Or one, I'm going to go with one centimeter. That looks just fine to me. Hit OK. And this looks really a lot like a piston right now rather than a bottle. So let's get rid of that appearance and select those three edges and apply a fillet with an F and choose a length of maybe 0.5 centimeters or one centimeter which is going to look just fine all right then make this a shell because right now it's a solid and we don't want a solid bottle because that's pretty useless and choose a shell thickness of 0.25 centimeter and maybe more if you want i'm going to go with 0.5 centimeter instead that, that seems fine with me 0.25 all right hit enter and then after this we want to create the bottle's cap so for that, we say create sketch and we go to the bottom plane and we select this center diameter circle and we, well, it should be a bit bigger than this. So eight would be, well, we shouldn't have started here. Maybe we should move out a little bit more. Um, so create a circle starting here and make it 8.05, well, 8.5 actually, because this is 8 point, uh, because we have 0.25 centimeter thick. Um, we want to make it 0.25 centimeters thick, so choose 8.5 and save finish sketch. Extrude this. Um, and make it of height 2 centimeters. Just you can type in a 2. And that gives you this. And then what you can do is select the bottom surface and give it a shell of 0.25 centimeters because we've chosen 8.5 as the diameter. So you lose, you're losing 0.25 from its radius. And this will give you an exactly eight centimeter. Uh, I mean, a, a circle of eight centimeter It's going to fit onto a circle of a, a diameter of eight centimeter and hit enter. All right. Now we can add threading to this inner surface by choosing create thread. And well, it'll be the exact same thing. Just make sure it's of the same length. Earlier we had chosen one centimeter. So this should also be one centimeter and it is right now. So that's fine. And hit OK. Now we want to create a zipper, right? We don't want to just have a random, I mean, a cap which doesn't do anything. So let's actually add the zipper element to this. Right? go to the top view and um, maybe rotate it once because I like it better that way. And now create a, a sketch on this surface and create a circle at a certain position on the center line itself because that's where you want it to be and just have it um, around I mean halfway to the top all right so 1.4 would be fine maybe even bigger because we generally have big zippers I mean that's how they are they're, uh, they're of about this size 2.2 would be fine we create another circle of exactly two centimeters now 1.8 is also fine but uh, yeah 1.8 would be better and say finish sketch now select this extrude it and remove all the material which was not part of this to create a hole now make your sketches visible again because we're going to need them and create an offset plane construct an offset plane from this face at a height of one centimeter above this and go into front view and you'll be able to see that it's at a height 
then select that plane and create a sketch upon it again make your circles at the same uh, having the same center point as this but now having a slightly smaller diameter maybe one or maybe one and a half so i'm going to go with 1.2 and 1 all right and say finish sketch all right now what we want to do is we want to loft between this and this and how we do that we, we select those two and create a loft and automatically that's done but as you see there is a material in, inside it so again make this sketch visible select this face and select that inner face and create a loft again so create loft you've chosen this face and now you can choose this face and they will now create an a hole for you all right so that gives you your zipper all right now what we're going to do is we are going to um create a joint between these two in fact before that we would like to make this a uh, smoother uh, bottle cap so apply a fillet to it along this edge and go down by around one centimeter which i think is fine it looks good so fine now you can again make your sketches invisible remove them and now select all of your bodies and make them into components right click create components from bodies and they will now appear as components and your bodies will now disappear in the browser all right so now you can actually move them around as you wish but uh, that's going to cause problems for us if we want to create a joint right now because if you see if we try to assemble and create a joint so select joint now it will say some components have been moved and so you can either capture the current position or continue in the previous position i'm going to say continue in the previous position because it doesn't really matter right now and then select two edges along which you want to join them so i'm going to select um, so remember this the first edge will move to the position of the second i mean the first component will move to the position of the second component so uh, i want the bottle to remain in its place and i want the cap to move so i'm going to select that inner face and i'm going to select this outer face and then the bottle is going to go up and down along that for face of ours all right that is fine but it's moving up and down too much maybe we want to put it at its right height that seems fine with me so three centimeters above where it would have been that looks okay and for motion cylindrical is what we want because it, we want it to go up and down and also rotate all right and so that is exactly what we're getting it's rotating and going up and down so hit okay now as you may notice it's going up and down too much and we want to we want it to only go up and down by one centimeter and open and close all right so for that we go here to our joint um, limits all right so the rotate is fine but we need to add some sliding limits so there needs to be a minimum that is it shouldn't go below a certain height you can turn on the animation to get an idea of how high and low it will be going so now it will not go below the zero now the maximum should be one centimeter because it shouldn't go down I mean it shouldn't go up above the height of this particular threading right so this one centimeter is fine maybe make it one and a half if you just want it to give uh, want to give it some amount of effect all right so hit okay with this then add a motion link between this joint and with itself and it should only go up and down all right so now you will notice that it's opening when it's going up and closing when it's going down all right and that is exactly what we had in mind and press ok and that gives you this complete bottle now if you animate this joint right click that joint and say animate joint in the browser you can now see it will go up and it will again start from the bottom which is looks kind of glitchy but at least you know that it won't um, keep rotating in the same direction it will rotate in the opposite direction if you were to move it downwards well anyway you can always click and say animate model or animate joint and it will do just that and you can say animate and press escape if you want to cancel that so right click and press animate model if you want to animate the entire model as a whole and it will again go from the bottom right which is kind of weird but that's how it is now let's give it some amount of appearance and make it look like our bottle was here so white for the cap so select this and say a in fact you can just hit a and choose materials here so i'm going to choose the red and i'm going to give it to the body and i'm going to choose white and give it to the cap right so that gives you this amazing bottle right and maybe you can go more crazy and maybe add a bottle cap which will basically go on top of this particular zipper hole and be even more useful as a bottle but i'm going to stop right here i hope you learned something with this video and well be sure to smash like and subscribe to our channel and see you next time